GMAS tutorial for beginners. How to use GMAS. Hello guys, and today we're going to talk about GMAS, an extension for our Gmail. GMAS is an email marketing tool that allows you to send personalized mass emails directly from your Gmail account. Whether you're a business owner or a marketer, GMAS can help you reach your target audience with ease. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to get started with GMAS from setting up your account and integrating it with Gmail to creating and sending your first mass email campaign. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a good understanding of how to use GMAS to improve your email marketing efforts and grow your business. So let's get started. Right now we are currently at gmas.co. This is their URL link and this is how you will be able to check out their website. In this website, this is where we will be able to click on add to Gmail which would allow us to add an extension into our browser which would allow us to access GMAS in our Gmail account over here. Now before we get started, we're going to talk about the different features, products, and uses of GMAS. Now the different features are Break Gmail's Limit Talk to Google Sheet Campaign Analytics Personalization Automatic Follow-up Emails Scheduling Email Polling Send Us Replies Segmented Campaigns Reply Management Unsubscribe Management and Bounce Management as you can see here, we have a lot of different useful features that would make our lives easier when dealing with email marketing. Not only will it help us with email marketing, we could also take advantage of GMAS to help us create normal emails that we would normally use in a day-to-day -day basis. Now the different products that we have over here is the GMAS Chrome extension, which is what we will deal with later on. We could also see inbox, spam, and promotion. We will be able to see where our emails are landing. We also have email verifier, where we will be able to verify the email list before we send. We could check out if those emails are dummy email or fake emails. We also have an email tester over here, where we would be able to test our email for SPF, BKIM, VMARC, blocklisting, and more. There's also SMTP tester, which would allow us to test our connection to any SMTP service. We have domain statistic, link checker, deliverability portal, SMTP service, tracker blocker, and the reply project. Now the different types of uses for GMAS are cold mail outreach, link building, membership outreach, recruit better, press releases, political campaigns, wedding invitation, church emails, HOA emails, teacher communication, and many more. These are the different samples or different things you could use GMAS for and you could use and take advantage of the different features that GMAS provide to make your lives easier when dealing with the specific type of situation such as teacher communications and sport clubs. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on add to Gmail over here. And this will show us this pop-up over here, which is a Chrome web store. Currently, I'm using Opera GX, but I am still able to install extension from Chrome web store. But if you have Chrome, I would recommend that you use Chrome. Uh, we're, what we're simply going to do is we're going to click on add to Opera. And we're going to click on add extension. And just like that, we would be redirected to our Gmail over here. And as you can see, GMAS has been officially added to our Gmail. Right now, you're not noticing much changes. But as you can see here on the top, we have connect to an email list in Google Sheet, which would allow us to connect our Gmail or our different emails to our Google Sheet and vice versa. This is a feature of GMAS. We also have send a follow-up campaign based on opens and clicks. And we also have launch campaign dashboard. Now to see the features of GMAS, we're simply going to click on compose over here and we will see this pop up over here. Now, as you can notice, we have this send option over here and a GMAS option. Now under GMAS, we could click on the settings over here 
we would be able to see this pop-up over here. Now this is what we will be using to customize our email. For example, we're going to type in our recipient. We're going to have a random email. For example, someone at gmail.com, just like that. And then we can click on subject. We're going to do testing for now, just like that. And over here for our body, we're going to use Gmas to create our email. We're going to click on Gmas settings once again. And as you can see here, we have a lot of things on our pop-up. We have templates personalized section and settings now for the template you can click on this and we would be able to choose different templates that we could use uh right now we have two templates we have the my very first gmail email campaign when we click this we would be able to see this template over here it will automatically create a email template for us i'm going to delete this once again just like that and I'm going to test out the other one, my very first Gmail email campaign, which is for 10 emails, as you can see over here. And it's not much different, so we're going to delete this. We also have personalized section over here. We're going to check this out. For the personalized section, you would be able to choose if you want to have the first name, last name, or email address. For example, I'm going to type in hi. And then I'm going to click this and then click on personalize, then click on email address. And as you can see here, this personalized variable has been copied to, a, to our clipboard. So we're simply going to paste it into our message over here and we would be able to see the email address. So when you send this email, they will be able to see hi, someone at gmail.com, just like that. You could do the same thing for name and last name. We could also add an add subscribe link over here. We're going to click this. And as you can see here, we will have a message that would allow them to unsubscribe from receiving our emails. There's also more options over here. Uh, under settings, we could click this. We would be able to check out the tracking, action, auto follow up, schedule, and advance. Under tracking, we would be able to track the opens and clicks of our email. Under action, we would be able to send our emails or create a draft. On the auto follow up over here, we have stage one. We could enable this. And the first step is if there is no reply after two days or less than two days, we would be able to automatically send an email back to them. And for example, this is the message. Just making sure you saw this. You can simply edit this message over here and it will automatically send them this email if they haven't replied to our original email campaign we could change the condition by clicking this we could we could either have no open or no click or all of this option over here you could also add another stage over here where if there is no reply for five days there will be another set of message over here you could add more stage if you want so we're going to disable this for now on the schedule over here, you could also schedule when the email would be sent. Right now, it is currently set to now, but you could set it in 5 minutes, in an hour, in 3 hours, or tomorrow schedule, or you could have custom date and time. You could also skip weekends if you want. There's also speed over here, where if, for example, you could set 10 emails per day, and you could edit the time pause between these emails. You could also do a repeat for, like, for example, once every two days or like any depending on what you would set it on we could also check out the advanced option over here under advanced we would be able to send it as a new message or as a reply we could have images as a default posted or embedded we could also edit the reply to the verify skip sent suppression we could also have a b testing wherein it will send different emails to test which one would work the best you could also add Paul over here, a preview text, and a friendly name. Now you could send a test email by clicking on this option over here. And this will send a test email to yourself so that you could check out how the email would look like. You could also check or create a draft over here or you can send all stages over here. We're going to click on spam solver over here. And we will see this pop up over here. Spam solver will show you whether your email are landing in an inbox, spam, or promotions folder. We're going to click on go. 
Now we will be redirected to this page over here where it's going to check our emails. It's going to take a while. So we're going to skip this for now. We're going back to our email over here. You could do the same thing for the link checker and the email analyzer. Now that's basically it. That's how you can use GMAS as a beginner. And that's the basic steps or the basic features that you could use to make your life in email marketing easier. And that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.